everyone. I am Jamie and my company name is My Back Porch LLC. I did that because Amy Howard suggested that in one of our um, online meetings. So I wanted to come to you and share with you what I'm going to do today. I have this old file cabinet that I had some friends that gave it to me and it's not bad. I tried painting it and I, it just, the color and the stencil, it's, I think this is the shagreen. Um, it's just not appealing to me. So I'm going to paint it again and try something different. So the colors I plan on using today are Bauhaus Buff, and this is the One Step Paint. Um, I have Credenza, which is kind of a, a light green. And then I also have, which one? Um, Not Away, which is a light blue. I really like the greens and the blues together with the accent of the Bauhaus Buff. And then I think I'm going to, whoops. I think I'm gonna use this mesh stencil that a Maker Studio has. And this one is called Motif. Um, it has all kinds of different furniture motifs that we could use to dress this up. And I think that we're going to use this um, once we're done painting. So I just recently painted this. I'm just going to wipe it down because all that it might have is just a little bit of dust. I probably painted it within the last two weeks. So let's get started. Oh, here's my little precious princess. Here she is. Say hi, princess. She can't hear anybody, but she's my 14-year-old geriatric precious dog. Mwah. But, okay, so I have this Nottaway and the Credenza, and I'm looking to paint the two colors on here and kind of get a dual-toned piece. So I think I'm going to paint the top and inside these little handles and the bottom rim that goes around the bottom I think I'm going to do that in the blue and then, or the not away, and then the credenza color, I'm going to do the side and the front panels here with the green. And then with the Bauhaus buff, I think I'm going to use that with the stencil so that the white kind of stands out and brings out the details. So this is what we're going to do. Let's start with the blue. Okay, let's open this up and see what we got. Oh yeah, look at this color. That is such a nice, pretty, light blue. I'm still trying to learn the names of these. Not away. So this is a color I've never used. So we're gonna give this a try. An awful lot of water in my brush. I'd like the brush to just be a damp. Just because I feel like it works better. So we're going to do the top in this color. Oh, look how smoothly that goes on. It's just a slight difference from the color that we have here. So right now it's really not looking blue because it's fighting with this purple color. Mmm, <laughs> what a yummy color. So I'm going to go ahead and finish painting the areas that I said I would and then we'll come back when I'm ready to do the not away green so or no wait this one's not away the green is oh my goodness credenza there we go so we'll come back and do that so let me finish painting this and we'll come right back
have the uh, Nottaway here, and this here is our credenza color. And now I'm getting ready. I've already started cutting, but we're using the motif um, adhesive stencil. So I think I've decided I'm gonna use one of these two. I'm still not sure. And then I'm gonna use this one. Now, if you notice, it only comes in one direction. So I'm gonna try to turn it backwards so that I can do, let's see, maybe like this and then flip it over and do it like that. So that'll be something new. We'll see if it works. If not, I'll paint over it. So I think I'm just going to, see that's too wide here. That stencil is too wide to go there. This stencil is literally just perfect. So I think that I will start with this one and I may just start putting it in the middle and then going out each way. So all we do is we pull this off and it's not too terribly sticky. So I don't feel like it's gonna pull my paint off. So let's just eyeball it here to the center. Let's see. Ooh, that looks pretty just like that. That looks pretty close to the center. So this is our Bauhaus buff. I am a firm believer that just two colors is not quite enough. I'm gonna set that on my plastic just in case. I think I'm gonna use this sponge brush. And I have, I have a little thing of water ready to dip this in and clean it off when I need to. And some of my blue shop towels that I use, I like those because you don't get it. The blue part doesn't come off. It's kind of like using a nice cotton rag. So I'm getting this where there's really not that much paint on here. And I'm just gonna gently paint this on and then pull it right off. Uh, Amy Howard does have uh, like squeegees that make this super easy, but imagine that, I don't have one right now. I had one, but I lost it. So let's pull this off and see how that looks. Oh, look at that. Look how pretty that is, y'all. So I'm going to put this in the water and I'm gonna clean it off. So we're gonna do this a couple times. So let me try to clean this off just a little so that we can reuse it. I like to let them dry for a little bit. So we'll just kind of set this one aside and we will try to do this one while we're waiting for that to dry. So let me make room here. I'll move this over here. So I think, so we could either do it like this here or we could do it going across and I kind of like the across I don't know it just appeals to me so peel this one off I'm gonna have to get off my knees and show y'all this okay peel it off and then we're gonna go on here I think I'm gonna line it up just no I think I'm gonna line it up here like that so that that's right on the edge so I'm gonna get just a little bit more paint, not a lot, I'm scraping off most of this because if you get too much, you're just gonna paint everywhere. I'm just gonna cover that real good. What this is, is it has a mesh and instead of just being open, it has a mesh. So it's able to hold all of that design so well in there. And look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. 
I'm going to get this wet and clean it off and then we'll start the video back up and we'll try to do this one backwards. So we'll see how that works. Okay, I got this all cleaned up. So now we're going to try to do this backwards just like we did that one. Now the trick is, is that all the sticky is facing me. I'm going to just hold it right down here. Oh, got my paint. So I'm just going to get a little bit. Now I'm holding this right where I want it to be. So I'm trying to be really careful. Because the thing about this is the mesh goes through from both sides. So let's see how this goes. Not quite as good, but I still think it looks good. Now what I'm going to do, make sure I'm doing it upright. There we go. So I already have a line here. Here I left that line and I just started the design on the other side of the line. So I just really want to kind of line it up right about, let's see. Okay, there's the white line. I see it through there. I think that's off a little. It's just a placement thing. Oops. Okay, there. All right, so got that down. And what I'm going to do, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of paint. Does it not take much? I'm gonna skip this little line here and just start on the other side of that one. Another thing is, is you want to try to stay on the transfer itself because, you know, you're going to paint on the furniture that you just did. If it's real tight or you're having problems, go and take some painter's tape and put that painter's tape right next to it. Well, it looks like I went over a little bit, but you know what? That looks, I love the look of that. It gives it that real dainty, feminine look. I don't figure most men are going to have this in here. So I'll go ahead and finish doing this. I'm going to do these down here, and then I might do this same one down here on the bottom. Just going to leave the sides alone. So... Let me get that done and we'll come back and I'll show you how I will finish this piece. Okay, I've gotten this to the point where I just have a couple more to do. Thought I would show those before we finished up here. I'm doing the fourth corner. I found that on the other one where I turned it in or upside down. If you do it with really dry um, paintbrush, it works better. But I'll have to say with the adhesive down, it works best. So, okay, so that one's done. I'm gonna do this last little section here. And in between, I do kind of let the paint dry a little bit because we do overlap just a little. Okay, so we're gonna do this last little bit. I just love these. I hope that you figure out how to use these. They're for sale on Amy Howard's A Maker Studio. And I'm gonna put that back down in the water. And I think that gives this 
just a touch that I like. Thought I'd show you that sometimes these don't have to be perfect. And if they don't turn out perfect, you know, say you could, I could come back and gently sand a little. So it looks kind of like, you know, some of this, it's, it's not brand new. I mean, that's the whole trick. So I'm gonna go back and do that on, on this just a little bit. I'm using, um, let's see, 180. So it's a very light sandpaper. I'm using a light touch paper on, on the sandpaper because I don't really wanna mess up the paint underneath. Plus it smooths it out so nicely. I had some bumps down here on the bottom of that paint, so I wanted to smooth that out anyway. So there, it's not so bright. It's just been sanded just a little bit. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to use these sanding sponges. Um, I buy at Home Depot or Amazon, and then I get it just a little bit damp. So it's not squeezing water. It's just a little bit damp, so it's not dry. And then I like to use my matte sealer with a brush because it gives it a nice, even coat. So, I've got some there, see? So I'm just gonna gently wipe it on. This way we don't really have any brush strokes. And this, by doing this, this seals your paint. It makes it much tougher. And when it dries, it's gonna dry a nice matte, just like your paint is gonna dry. And I want to make sure that when someone is, you know, when they're opening, Look, I can see that I have a little, oh, these drawers are heavy upside down. So I'm gonna wipe that one. Oopsie. See, this stuff is already drying. Oop, wrong side, there we go. Wipe that one. So I'm gonna come back. We'll do the sides here really quick. Okay, I've got this up. I'm just gonna finish the top here. So, I'm putting this on nice and smooth and thin. I don't really feel like it needs to be antiqued. We could antique it if you wanted to use the waxes. So, I'm done. This takes oh, less than 30 minutes to dry, so we'll let this dry and I will show you my finished product.